Warm blessings. This is Master Shaman Palai Chi. I compassionately guide seekers worldwide through channeling wisdom to uncover trauma, karma, and hidden abilities, bridging transformation, empowerment, and elevating the soul purpose. Today, I wanted to talk to you about reciprocation, about uh, what you have been doing all along, how you have been living with each other all along has been so wrong. So what does this mean? When you live with one another, whether it's your family or with another person that is not a family, maybe it's a relative or a mother or father and you are the son-in-law or daughter-in-law and you're living together as under one roof, right? Under one home. And so the key thing is if you haven't found it being abundant to you. So if you haven't found that, you know, there's been good communication or that everything is getting along, then there's something missing. And this part that is missing is the biggest part of your abundance right now, which is you getting reciprocation of what you feel that you should deserve. Now, for some of you, you don't care for reciprocation because when you live with another, with another person, it almost feels like, you don't care to have reciprocation. You just want to live on your own. You just want to do your own thing, right? You don't want any anybody involved in your um, what your activities are. You just want to be private. But one thing that is holding your abundance is this reciprocation. So one thing I would suggest is do this. Before I go forward, go like the video and subscribe to my channel. One thing that if you if you've tried this method before and you feel like, oh, it doesn't work, you've reciprocated, you've done all the things that you have, and you still don't have good communication within uh, the household, right? People that you live with uh, for the time being. But you will find out that later on in life, when you grow your own family, if you are young and you grow your own family, you're going to find that reciprocation is the key to a family having a happy or more content communication and living well together and getting along together. Now, if you've already been living with, uh, with your own family, right, and you have brothers or sisters, siblings, or if you're in a situation where you are a, a daughter-in-law and you're living with your uh, husband's parents, or if you are a son-in-law and you're living with your um, wife's parents, whatever the matter of fact is, whatever the situation is, if you open up your heart and you're willing to do things just to do them because you want to do them, because you feel like there's a need to do them, Live like as if you are living with yourself, by yourself, right? And that how you want this place to be. If you just give in, in this heart part, heartfelt part of you just opens up and stop letting your mind stop you from allowing this abundance to come in, then you're going to be able to give the gestures that are reciprocating. You're going to be able to also do things just because you feel like you want to do them. For example, you're going to clean the bathroom because you feel like it's so, you can't stand it. And so you have to, to clean it. Clean it just to clean it. Clean it just to, because you want it cleaned. Don't wait for another person to tell you to clean it. Or don't wait for another person to say, this is so icky, right? Even if it's your own or not your own, it, it shouldn't matter. Do things just because. Start to cook and start to clean. Start to cook something that you feel like you want to cook. You start to use things uh, within the home that you feel like you want to use. And then reciprocate that by bringing more abundance to that, like, uh, like refilling something. And if you can't refill it right now because maybe you're unemployed, it's okay. You're, if you are a kid, it's okay, right? You you are underage. It's okay. You don't have to. But as long as you are doing a gesture, if you are in your, you know, 20s and you don't and you're still going to school, college, it's okay. Number one, do it just because. Because you want to contribute something. Because you want to reciprocate something. Because you are thankful. And that is also a gesture of gratitude. Now, 
Also, if you do something, don't expect something to, um, for example, don't expect credit to be given to you or don't expect somebody to thank you for it. And they will. Don't expect being acknowledged for something that you did, whether it's cleaning the fridge, whether it's cooking dinner, whether it's cooking breakfast, whether it's uh, any chore around the house that you feel like it's a chore. But one thing to do in your mindset is to not feel like it's a chore. Feel like it's something that you're doing because you want to do it to better the environment, to improve the environment. Go and do this and be consistent. That's the other thing about your abundance is by you blocking it with your mind. So your mind is saying, okay, I don't want to do it because I'm not going to get credit. I don't want to do it because I'm not going to be acknowledged or I won't be validated for it because it's not mine. Get away from all that mindset thinking, right? Your mind blocking you from getting your abundance. Your abundance happens and it truly happens when your heart reciprocates. When your heart, and even if somebody didn't, didn't do something for you and you don't feel like it's a reciprocation, you feel like it's just all you doing it first, well, be the first one to do it. Be the first one to do it. And when you, uh, someone else sees you doing it and so they are not taking advantage of you, right? So they are actually reciprocating it also back to you. Then this is when you also know that, hey, my abundance is flowing in. And if someone doesn't reciprocate back to you, well, there's more than meets the eye that will be coming in into your life sooner or later. It shouldn't matter and it doesn't matter really. The universe knows that you are doing it because you want to do it, because you feel like it's going to improve your environment. It's going to improve the communication. And if someone in the household does not get it, it's okay because they will get it in a later time and place, whether it's today, tomorrow, this week, next week, next month, or in a couple years, it's going to come through for them to get it. It is also a karmic lesson, whether they want it or not. If someone has given them something in life and they have not reciprocated something back, and sometimes I know that it's hard to keep track, right? You don't have to reciprocate every time like as if you're paying a debt because it is not a debt. Hear me out. It is not a debt. If you think it, that it's a debt, that you have to reciprocate something and you're doing it because you feel like it's you're indebted to them, you feel like it's a debt to you, then you've been living together all wrong. This is not a debt for you to reciprocate. But it is a choice. It is a decision for you to reciprocate because you want to improve the situation. You want to improve and grow um, the environment that you live in. All this has to do with the heartfelt energies, the heartfelt gestures that you want to do upon your own environment, your own household to help the household improve, to help you grow or help another person grow, okay? So doing this by living it in a correct manner is the etiquette of reciprocation. It is the etiquette of your gesture and how you bring out that gesture from yourself, whether it's your tone of voice, whether it's the words that you use, whether it's your gesture in doing some chores around the house, Whatever it is, do it for the better and you will receive so much abundance into your life.